you guys about uh, quitting because that's the that seems to be the part of the theme today. Is you know sometimes it's right to quit, but I want to talk to you about when it's right to quit and when it's right to stick in and keep going. You know, I, we do a lot of uh, personal mentoring in addition to the daily call that we do here. Um, I got a live event coming up where we're going to be doing a room full of people, and uh, we do a lot of really one-on-one -on -one stuff with people. And people come up to us all the time and say, well, you know, I'm thinking about changing opportunities. You know, somebody over here said that they're making ten thousand dollars a month. And I, I'm thinking, you know, I'm only making a couple hundred bucks. I mean, I should jump over there. Or, you know, they say, you know, my program is $99. Should I jump over and do a $5 program because that's easier to sell? Or, you know, my $5 program is going to take so long, I should be selling a $200 or $300 program. And so they get all these things in their head and they don't know what to quit. And so I want to help you make a decision when to stick in with something and when to quit because there's actually – some really smart reasons to quit sometimes. I mean, sometimes you need to quit and go do the right thing. You need to be at the right place at the right time. And one of the reasons you might not be successful is you might be plugged into the wrong thing. You know, um, we always say in business, you know, you spend your whole life climbing the ladder of success and many times finding out that your ladder's against the wrong building. You know, you get all the way to the end and you reach the top of the ladder that took you 10, 15, 20 years. And then you realize, I don't want to be here. So many people now have gone to school and got $50,000, $100,000, $150,000 school debt. They climbed all the way to the top. They got a master's degree. They got a doctorate. And then they get in there and they start doing the work of becoming a doctor or a surgeon or whatever it is that they've done. And they hate their job. I mean, they just, but they can't get out from under it because they got school bills and they got obligations and they got a mortgage payment. And they, they're thinking, man, I wish I would have thought this thing through. So they climb the ladder of success only to find that they got to the wrong place. So one of the things I want you guys to do is something that we teach regularly on advanced leadership and skill sets is ask yourself a question. And it's, this works in so many arenas. You'd be amazed that this is such a powerful question you put in your head. And the question is, to what end? You should write this down. It should be part of your mantra. It should be in your head. When someone comes talking to you something or trying to sell you something, you should say to yourself, ask the question, to what end? Where are they trying to lead me? What does it look like if I'm successful in this thing? You know, you can do it in whatever church you go to or whatever relationship you're going to have. You know, if you're married and some beautiful girl comes up to you and she, and she blinks her eyes and she says, man, you're cute, and it's been 15 years since you had somebody tell you you're cute, you should ask yourself the question, to what end? Because I'll tell you what, the end of that conversation is nothing but death and disaster. You don't need to be following down that path. She ain't got nothing for you. And you can do that with so much of your life. Someone comes up with an opportunity and they say, hey, we got this $10,000 product and you get 50% commission and you're going to go and you can sell and you can get $5,000 for every one that you sell. And you should ask yourself the question. Be smart. Say, okay, what is the product? How many do I have to sell? How many do I give away? How many do I actually have to give up to my upline? How many people in your company are actually making a living doing this? What do the chargebacks look like? You ask all the questions and say, okay, to what end? If I do this and I become successful, how hard do I have to work to maintain my success? What does it look like if I'm successful? And ask the hard questions. And you're like, there's no way I'm selling a $10,000 product because the people on the other end are going to have chargebacks and the people are going to be disappointed and you're going to bankrupt people at $10,000. And, you know, you look at the fruit of what the program looks like and then – you realize why a lot of people drop out of a $10,000 product because it's just a money game. It's just a scam, and you don't want to leave dead bodies behind. So you ask yourself the question, to what end? Do I want to really do that? And so when you make a decision, when you decide, okay, this is a great company, and I'm going to use mine for an example. There's a lot of really good opportunities out there. I mean, there's new ones popping up all the time. I've got some friends that are running some pretty good companies. So um, once you find out that you want to join, you actually want to do the do the company. We built this one with this in mind. To what end? To what end is it costs you nothing or almost nothing to join our opportunity. So you, nobody gets hurt. They get the best training on the planet. We sell this stuff for $100, 200 and $300, and in some cases even more than that. The stuff that we're training people to do and the the number of testimonies into the hundreds now – that are actually gaining change in their life, to what end is you're going to change your stars. You're going to change your life. This is the best product you can possibly have. And how much money can I make? 
the the amount of money and the amount of people that are making full time income is phenomenal. So the opportunity is there, the product is there, the price is there. You've got everything. Okay, to what end? What does it look like when I'm done? What it looks like is you've got a friendship with hundreds of people. You've got people that are active in an active community that are helping one another, that are growing personally. It's a personal development program with a paycheck attached. The end of the story is more beautiful than the beginning of the story. To what ends? What do I need to do, and is it possible? You look across the community, and you find out who's making what, how much money can you make, how fast can I make it, and then you lay your ladder against that building, and you apply these three things. This is the next thing you should write down. This is a mantra of my kids. I homeschooled all four kids. When they turned 18 years old, they went out with this mantra of these three words. And in some cases, they would go into a job interview, and because these three words fell out of their mouth, the boss said, because you said those words, you get the job. That's how powerful these words are. My son went into a uh, into his very first job interview, and there were hundreds of kids because we were in a, in a town with lots and lots of community of kids, and all these young 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds wanted the job. And he says, I've just seen 100 people in the last two days. Why should I hire you? And he turned, up, as he was walking out the door, he says, because I'm probably the only one who knows the meaning of diligence, consistency, and persistence. He said, you're hired. See you in the morning. If you would take this and put your ladder against that building, the one that you've chosen, to what end? Put your ladder against that building and never, ever quit. Take your in-between moments and fill them with those three things, diligence, consistency, and persistence. Do not give up. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to have failures. You're going to make mistakes. But if you continue to go and grow, you will never be disappointed. You'll make it to the top. And you'll be happy when you get there. So I hope that helps you guys. 